Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel and today's video is about structure of stomata. So stomata are tiny uh, pores which are present on the upper epidermis and lower epidermis of leaf and stem. Uh, the presence of stomata on the epidermis uh, depends on the habitat in which the plant is living. Like uh, hydrophytes, they have plenty of uh, stomata on their upper epidermis because they have to lose lots of water. Whereas in the xerophytes, which live in desert conditions, so they have stomata, which is, the, their stomata is deep sunk on, like their stomata aren't exposed because they have to conserve water. And in the mesophytes, uh, which live in like uh, medium conditions, and they have stomata in the, more stomata on the lower epidermis so that uh, transpiration occurs, but less um, that's why they have more stomata on the lower epidermis than as compared to upper epidermis. So stomata, as you can see here, these stomata basically, uh, it's a plural, like many pores present in the uh, epidermal cells are called stomata. A single pore is called a stoma. It is surrounded by guard cells. Now these guard cells, their function is to guard the stoma and uh, they are bean shaped or you can call it kidney shaped, um, uh, kidney shaped or sausage shaped cells and uh, outside these guard cells are present subsidiary cells and uh, because guard cells changes their shape depends uh, when it becomes turgid or flaccid or depends on the concentration of water or sap inside these cells they change their uh, shape and so in order to give them protection they are surrounded by subsidiary cells and these are the epidermal cells so epidermal cells are present outside these guard shaped cells right okay so there is a difference between epidermal cells and guard shaped cells. Epidermal cells do not have chloroplast and therefore they play no role in photosynthesis. Whereas guard shaped cells, they have plenty of chloroplast in it, but their function um, or their role in photosynthesis is doubtful. Uh, now you see these guard cells, they have this inner wall and this is the outer wall. Inner wall is thicker, as you see it is thicker and the outer wall is thinner. And inside the guard cells is a vacuole, um, there are plenty of chloroplasts, there is nucleus, right? And um, chloroplasts also have nucleus, vacuole, uh, there is cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, but there is no uh, chloroplast in epidermal cells. Now you see there are two pictures which are showing the target cells and the uh, flaccid cells. Now, when guard cells gain water, so they become turgid, right? And when they become turgid, so they expand in size, right? And then stoma opens and water, uh, uh, water uh, transpires outside or gaseous exchange occurs. So when stomata will be open, so gaseous exchange can occur or and or transpiration can also occur. But close stomata, as you know, stomata loses water. So what happens? The guard cells become flaccid and the stoma closes. So no gaseous exchange occur, no transpiration occur. So if plant has to conserve water, so it has to um, keep its stoma closed by uh, making the guard cells flaccid, right? And uh, um, so that's how stoma opens and closes. It depends. Uh, when there is excess water in plant body and there is um, an environmental conditions are also favorable like there is dry um, dry uh, weather there is no humidity its temperature is very high it's very hot warm day uh, and uh, there is less humidity in the air and um, wind is also blowing right so in that case um, uh, transpiration will increase and more and more water will be released outside and therefore um, stoma will open and releases water vapors. But if the conditions aren't favorable, like there is uh, a lot of inhumidity, so there is no need for transpiration, so stoma will close us. Now this is the, uh, again a picture which shows the perfect demonstration of uh, turgid stoma and the flaccid stoma. Now you see in the 
uh, cells are turgid and um, when the gut cells they gain water they become turgid also you know when they uh, have potassium ions in the gut cells or when gut cells have excess potassium ions right so it also induces stomatal opening right so it also makes the gut cells turgid and stoma opens and when they releases uh, potassium ions and when they releases water so they become flaccid and the stoma also closes so at daytime um, guard cells are turgid, stoma opens and it releases water vapors and also gaseous exchange occurs. At night time, um, usually stoma closes in order to conserve water and uh, um, there is no need for transpiration stream because no photosynthesis also happens. So guard cells, they become flaccid and stoma closes. So at night, stomata closes and at daytime, it opens. So and that's it about stomata. Uh, I hope it was very useful for you all. Um, don't forget to uh, like this video, comment on this video, and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.